Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to speak about the Docker and the Docker Swarm and how you can create your first uh, service. Service is uh, in, in Docker Swarm, it's meaning you have it in a container with uh, options like how many CPUs, memories and how many replicates you want. But I will do it very simple in this video and I will only use one container but still it's still called a service if you use the Docker container here. Um, you will have zero and you can say docker service ls and you have no services it's basically the same but you can see a little bit different here so let's creating the, the first service where we use it as a web and then we will install like the, the nginx uh, web service so it's doing like this so do uh, docker service create and then we have a name you can call it web and then we will publish it and it should be on the 8080 and uh, 80 and then nginx before we do this i will uh, i'll show you here i have the browser already and i will connect to the the docker uh, swamp node you can use it on a local machine but i'm using a, a vm to do this in, in hyper v and uh, it's not uh, working right now so my point is when I press enter here, okay, um, Docker, uh, Docker service create. It's not have to publish. Us. Okay, I have a, uh, I'm spelling error here. And then when I press enter, then it's creating up and preparing uh, one replica. So it's basically running up and it's should working if I'm going back from my browser uh, just a little bit and now I can see that nginx is running here so that's perfect and uh, you can see it, it's it's done now and if I use docker uh, docker service uh, ls then you can see we have one replica and that's meaning we will always have uh, one one containers running this uh, this image and if we have more in, in a swarm cluster and you can scale up and of course you can use more containers on the same uh, swarm host is no problem so that's uh, that's how you, you're doing and and how you can remove the docker uh, swarm service again you can do it here docker service remove the web and now it's uh, removed and uh, we can say docker sudo docker service ls and it should be removed now but going back to the web browser and reload you can see the icon here and now we don't have any connections to it so now the container is it's taking down again so that's a little bit uh, about how basically you can start working with the with docker swarm and the services it's pretty simple this one but i really hope you enjoy this and you understand the basic about uh, how to work with services in, in Docker Swarm. So that's my point for this video. And I really hope you like it. If you have any questions, please make the comments below. I will lovely to answer your questions. And uh, if you like it, hit the like button. And I hope you want to subscribe. You can hit the thing button in the right corner below. And then subscribe. And I hope you want to share it and put to your playlist. So you always can remember this video. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.